Hi guys, hope you all are doing well. Well, my name is Priyanka. For those of you who do not know me, uh, well, today I thought I'll take up a topic and I'll speak on it because sometimes I feel I should share a few things that I've been learning in these days or in my uh, in my life. So the topic today is marriage. Marriage is a sensitive topic. I know. I'm not your uh, to cancel anybody. I don't know about you or your marital life, but I'm here to just speak about what I have learned in my life, in my marriage life. And um, I took up this topic just because I see so many divorces that's happening nowadays. Like people are there together for one, two years, three years, and they're getting divorced. First of all, you need to know that it will take at least two to not two, three to four years to get to know the person well. So give it some time. Uh, like very importantly, I feel in a marriage, the first and foremost thing that needs to be there is communication. You need to communicate with your partner. You need to know what his or her liking is. You need to sit and talk and you should share your feelings what you feel uh, so feeling sharing and everything comes under communication so it is very very important you sit and talk before going to bed give give an hour or two sit and talk just don't be on your cell phones or watching tv or sitting on your laptops playing games no just give time to your partner you need to give time to your partner you need to get to know your partner you need to ask them how their day was you need to know what they ate in the afternoon what they ate in the morning like you know it is very important you communicate initially one or two years like the relationship is all lovey-dovey you're very happy happy but then as the years go by uh, the relationship is steep so i think very importantly communication is very very important but guys if you're doing something do it together if your husband has a hobby let him do it but you can join him you can help him you can support him vice versa if your wife she likes cooking you can please help your wife in cooking helping is also very very important guys if your wife is doing if if you think your wife is just a housewife she has all the only she has to do only the housework guys it's just not only the housework there's lot of work that is there in the house that needs to be done i think as a husband you need to support your wife you need to uh, you need to help her in some sort of the other some sort of the other you need to help her so that is how the bond gets stronger you need to communicate you need to help you need to trust each other guys uh, i know nowadays the situation is so bad we cannot trust each other but you need to trust each other blindly blind trust you know what happens when you trust the opposite person feels yes my wife or my husband trust me a lot so i shouldn't be doing this wrong thing in my life so there is a back you know behind his mind is a mind going and yes yeah i shouldn't hurt her or him so we tend to stop doing it i mean the partners tend to stop doing anything wrong if he or she has been doing so it is very important to trust your partner speak to your partner if your past is bothering you if you have had any problems in your past like any problems share it with your partner i think your partner will be uh, will very well be able to help you and assist you and uh, i think your only your partner can give you that care and that affection and that warmth that you need in your life so it is very important that you both are together you both spend more time with each other and um, just don't be yourself uh, there are many wives you know uh, husband is working all day he comes home and uh, like you're busy with your own thing no speak to your husband ask him how his day was you need to talk to him that is how the communication builds up that is how you start talking to each other so start the conversation if he might have had a bad day speak to him let him relax so vice versa even if your wife has a bad day or uh, if she's uh, you know girls go through a lot of mood swings so you need to understand 
what are the time period that they are upset you need to understand you need to cope up with each other so that is how i think a marriage marriage life grows you need to first of all understand each other very well and guys don't lie to your partners i think you should always be truthful to your partners so when there is a lie i think that there are, that is a crack there in a relationship and nowadays we see so many extramarital affairs i think that is also because your partner is not giving you enough time so if your partner or if you are giving enough time to your partner i think there will be no third persons entering your life so give time uh, care show some care to your partner caring is very very important especially your girl she needs all that care and that affection guys she like you give her that one hug she will be like she'll be strong the whole day she can do all the work you know, she needs that warmth in her life she needs that care in your in her life so uh, please uh, understand your partners well you need to speak you need to know what their likings and what their dislikes are you need to know uh, what makes them upset and what kind of languages you shouldn't be using and yes if you are in an abusive relationship then it is better you walk off because i like you shouldn't be getting tortured by your husband or your by your in-laws that is when you walk out of a relationship but then if it is some small problems like some misunderstanding or you feel there is something wrong going on in his or her life uh, or some sort of uh, problems or little, little little problems you know which can be sorted so that is when you sit and talk with each other where you can uh, make the other person understand and i think when you communicate with each other when the uh, when the opposite person get to know you i think that that bond will make make this marriage stronger so just keep in mind it is very important you communicate with each other communication trust caring love and helping your partner very very important guys so i think i've shared few things that i wanted to share uh if i did say anything wrong then please i'm sorry because this is just a few things that i have been learning in my marriage and i thought i should be sharing it with you guys then yeah that is it uh hoping i'll take a new topic and speak on it till then guys take care stay safe god bless and stay happy together bye bye